First tonight at 6, she handled the city of Tripp's finances for 15 years. But people in Tripp felt betrayed when Jennifer Frederick admitted to stealing more than a half million dollars from the townspeople. How the theft went on for so long and the mystery over missing records was the subject of our Kelloland News investigation, Troubles in Tripp. Today, Angela Kennecke was in Hutchinson County as a judge handed down Frederick's sentence. It's the most activity Olivet's new courthouse has seen since it opened. 40 people filed into the courtroom to hear from Jennifer Frederick after she pled guilty to embezzlement, forgery, and destroying public records. Jennifer, would you like to say anything to the people of Tripp? Several people from Tripp signed a letter to the court detailing the damage they thought that Frederick did to the community with her crimes. However, no one from the city was willing to testify. Frederick's sister did take the stand, saying she was needed to care for her elderly parents and her two sons. Frederick's defense attorney, Mike Butler, asked Hutchinson County Judge Pat Smith for house arrest or electronic monitoring. The Hutchinson County State's attorney compared embezzlement to addiction. And like most cases he sees, Frederick didn't stop until she was caught. Frederick was inconsistent when questioned about when she started stealing the money. And the city doesn't have any financial records for her first seven years in office. They don't know what happened between 2003 and 2011. You're the longtime finance officer. How can that be possible? Well, she, well they say she destroyed some records. I don't know. William Hare was Tripp's finance officer for 33 years. Frederick took over when he retired. You, you take the oath of office to do your job. And um, no, I, I, I don't know how, she, how, it, how it happened or... Or, or what made her do it. But I sense that you're proud of the fact that you were a Tripp City Finance Officer and you took good care of the money. And so it must feel like kind of like a, a, a tainting on, of the office. Well, when this came out, it really hurt. Uh, I really felt bad because I, uh, uh, I mean, that it happened. Because. Frederick didn't give a lot of insight into why she took more than half a million dollars since 2012. She told the judge, I don't know why I did it. I didn't know how to stop, and one cover-up led to another. I just blocked it all out. Her parents took out a loan and paid the city back $517,000. In the end, the judge sentenced Frederick to three years in prison. She could be out in a year. You asked for no prison time. Do you have anything to say about the judge's sentence? I thought the judge was very considerate. And, uh, I would not second-guess the sentence. I appreciate the opportunity to be heard. Do I think there was enough punishment? I don't know. Probably not. I just think it's a sad situation for everyone. There was a lot of betrayal, and that's really sad, and our town struggles. Frederick has been ordered to start serving her sentence at the end of the week. In Olivet, Angela Kennecke, Kevilvan News. And we've put Frederick's full statement from court on this story online, as well as a link to our original investigation. Okay.